Hello everyone, welcome back to Civ 5 Destination Space. We have a new policy, and I have no idea what to really take with this one. I mean, I guess I could finish up Liberty. Hmm. What do I get for finishing Liberty? I get a free great person of my choice. That actually is a good idea. Uh, what tenants are available to me? Uh, Patriotic War isn't that great. Spying is non-existent, really. The happiness from local every wonder. That's a good one. Mm. I think I'm going to go with meritocracy. Happiness for my trade routes. We're at 81. 100. Awesome. It's a lot of happiness. Yep. Lots of happiness. And we'll have satellites in six turns. That's great. We have the entire map revealed to us, no matter what. Always awesome. I got a great artist heading out to Poland again. I'm gonna perform a concert! Oh no wait. Why do I have them heading out? I think I mistook him for a great musician. It happens. After, after a while, it just... Your brain goes to mush and you mistake things for other things and... Yeah. Uh, come on, Pagoda. And come on. Alright, so, uh... I guess I'll just create a great work of art with you then. You need a trade route. Uh, just head to Nimrod. Here, great, great work. Beijing's got space. Paul Gauguin. Barbarians, they just won't die. They keep on getting new units. I want them dead. And it belongs to Spain. Just just take it back, Spain. I, I don't want it. Pagoda, what do you currently want? Do you want lots of culture? Uh, take some money. And we get to choose an archaeology. Hooray! Alright, since there's nothing out here for me to actually claim this landmark with, I am going to be creating a Roman artifact. Give me culture and tourism. Huh. I've actually fallen a turn behind on something. Because I forgot that we were doing it. Uh, international Games. Can't believe I forgot we were doing the International Games. That's uh, not the one I was looking for. I wanted to go to Handan. International Games. We're just going to remove that medical lab. See, are you working on it? Uh, Neapolis, that's going to take you too long. We're just going to jump you right into international games. Okay. Everything's queued up to work on international games. How many cities do I even have that I can control directly? One, two, three, four. I only control five of my cities directly, and I have how many cities? 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So half my cities are self-controlled. The other half are under my direct control. Interesting. It seems to be working out pretty well for me. Maybe that's actually just the better way to do things. Let the cities run themselves when you capture them. Don't worry about trying to do it yourself. It'll get you nothing. Nothing but pain. I have a lot of money. I should buy things. Okay, let's buy you. Hmm. 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 A nuclear plant. And you're making a solar plant. Let's buy you. Actually, what do we need the most out of you? You need food. Like, really bad. So let's buy you a med lab. It gives you lots more food. And at Guangzhou, we can purchase. Hmm, you're getting 30 food. Let's purchase you an aqua farm. That way you'll have more variety for food when you get the citizens for it. And Neapolis, they're just landlocked to hell. We will buy a factory though. And that's gonna be it. And now we have satellites. <laughs> Satellite TV, here we come. I don't know. That, at the very least, the map is revealed to me. There's titanium revealed as well. Provides a free spaceship factory in the city in which it's built. Plus 25% production when building spaceship parts. Very, very useful. We're gonna put that Hubble Space Telescope right there in Beijing. And they can use the stadium. Screw you, Rome. You're taking my religion. Alright, so where is all this titanium I've discovered? Oh, right in Ravenna, which means I've already got it then. And there's one right outside Guangzhou. There's currently a lumber mill here that's going to end up getting changed into a mine as just my workers go, hey, let's build that. That's another lumber mill down. That's inside Handan. <laughs> I like it when it's right inside the city, because that means I already get it. See, I already got six titanium. And there's one that my my paratroopers are just sitting on top. Good job, paratroopers. You've been defending this hill so long and not even realizing it was actually a valuable resource. Good job. Kazmir is pie against Boudica. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Although, I guess that kind of makes sense, considering considering Boudica has a puppeted city-state. Not city-state. A puppeted city? Let's, let's be honest. Polynesia was basically a city-state by that point. Right there. And it's right on his border. So, he, I can see why he would just want to take that. Now then he's going to be upset with Venice for being right on his border. So they might end up going to war with each other again. Nope. Morocco hasn't really been doing much lately. And I did get information that 
Enrico in Venice is building up an army to do a sneak attack against another civilization. The only civilization I can see that makes sense for him to be attacking is going to be Morocco. Or Boudica. I don't see him really going after anyone else. So, yeah, that'll be, be quite interesting. And look! Assyria has pretty much taken all of Australia for himself now. He, he does have some barbarians sitting down here. That's probably going to give him some trouble until he actually gets it taken care of, but... You know, Australia is actually a pretty decent place of varied resources. Lots of copper, just titanium, oil, some coal down here. It's got a little bit of uranium. It's not the not a bad spot. It's not a great spot, but it's not a bad spot. Anyway, moving on. <sighs> so we have a great scientist. Now, I could use him to get this research taken care of. He basically get the entire thing. However, the next thing we have on our list is orbital flight, which will take a little bit longer to get. So I think I'm going to wait until we have that on cue and then use him. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sleep for now, scientist. And you guys, you got went to the water. You don't go into the water. Bad people live in the water. Bad people like these guys. Hey, we'll have the United Nations in five turns. To enact a world leader. Which could be me. Maybe. Ha! I'm basically wiping out all of this religion from these guys. It's pretty cool. My religion is the religion that you shall follow. No one else. No one expects the Chinese Inquisition. Because they never had one. So we've got about two more turns. And then the world leader proposal happens. I don't think I have enough votes to win it myself. Let's see, we got 38, and everyone else has, oh boy, let's see, 10, 20, 30, ooh, 34, we could win that. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Well, I think that everyone actually would be voting against everyone else. They'd be voting for themselves, probably. And that pretty much guarantees that I have a technical victory here. The only problem with that is... We're not at our destination yet. Our destination is space. And we're not there. We're nowhere near there. Look, Casimir's entered the atomic era. Isn't the atomic era behind the modern era? Oh no, he's in the right era. He's got 
He's one era behind me. Oh, good job, Casimir. You've made it. No, oh, and I'm the ally of Banza Congo. When did I get that happen? Casimir is playing against Ahmed Al Mansur. Yeah, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh. I would approve of you going to war with him. And I can go to war with Augustus again. You know. Kind of the norm at this point. Going to war with Augustus. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to Ahmed Alma. <laughs> Not Ahmed. I just looked at it. To Kazmir. Uh, I would like to discuss something with you. Uh, you know how you would like to go to war with Ahmed Al Mansur? Where you're plotting against him. Uh, how would you like to just go to war with him? Ah, you agree. Let's head to battle. We are now at war. Hooray! What am I going to get out of this war? Absolutely nothing, but I figure why not. I enjoy myself a little bit of war. And it gets Casimir involved in the war as well. So I am probably just going to be taking my tank to go out and have some fun. there for the time being. And let's see, how about one of my machine guns? It'll take a lot longer to get here, but it's all fine. We're gonna go after Fez. We're gonna give it to Casimir because I like Casimir. Then Ahmed Al Mansur will have nothing left but Marrakesh, and Marrakesh is not going to be useful to me either, so I'll give that to whoever I feel like. Maybe I'll give it to Venice, I don't know. I'm sure Venice could appreciate it, but I don't really like Venice either. I'll give it to Boudica. Boudica's a good friend of mine. Alright, World Congress is going to be happening in just a moment. Ooh, a new barbarian encampment. Where would that be? I can't go look at it right now, apparently. But I know of its existence. I'm sure Morocco is currently rallying its meager, wimpy army. It's primitive, a wimpy army, really. Hmm. Poor guys. I don't stand a chance. They know not what they invite upon themselves. By existing. So tell me, is this a very strange strategy to just not be land hungry to focus entirely on scientific development? Because it looks to me as if it's working very nicely. I haven't had to deal with very many wars. I've basically taken an entire continent to myself, which has pretty much made it so I am left alone for the entire game, unless I choose to go attack someone else. I've I've kept the closest person to me, a long-standing ally, and he just owns so much world. How many cities does he even have? He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. He has twice as many cities as me, and he's doing horrible. I mean, 
He's just not having the best of time. He's got no gold. He's losing a lot of money. I don't know how he can be losing that much money when he has all that territory and all those wonderful resources for him. I think he's just got, like, an army too big for him to handle. It's just kind of impressive how how badly he's doing. I don't even know what to do with you guys anymore. I just go build something somewhere. I don't care if you jump in that water. It appears I can go through Venice's territory. I must have gotten open borders with them at some point. Where was that barbarian encampment? Oh, right there. I don't care. Alright, delegate time. Oops. Yes, I'm going to put all my votes on Venice. Venice is going to be the world leader. Okay, 38 votes. I think I might, might have this. Let's see if we do. I don't think I've ever actually gotten a uh, a diplomatic victory for myself before. This is kind of a new experience. Hey, Ahmed Al Mansur has finally entered the modern era. Good job, Ahmed Al Mansur. You are unfortunately not going to be in living in that era very, very long. You kind of have me fighting against you, and I do have a tendency of finishing off a civilization if it so suits my needs. Does finishing you off suit my needs, though? I'll be honest, not really. Am I going to anyway? I might. I'm bored. And there's nothing going on, nothing that can threaten me. I... I've com... <laughs> I've won the international games! Hooray! <coughs> uh, my tourism is doubled, I get a free social policy, I have... Plus three happiness and influence over city states, and there's also happiness. Happy, happy, happy times. Adopt a policy. Yeah, let's do it. Against Enrico Dondolo. The international Games has been completed. Yerevan is at war. I am now the ally of Ye Yerevan. Without a clear winner guarding the support of at least 41 delegates. Okay, so we didn't have enough. Mmm. That. That is a close one. We were close. We were really close. If I had spent all my money to take away the city-state alliance of everyone else on the board, I think that would have been me then. Let's see. A Venetian army is currently marching a surprise attack against another civilization. We don't know the city civ they target. Interesting. And Enrico Dondolo is currently st secretly plying its Ahmed al -Mansur. You know what? I think I might be able to invite him to this war as well. What do you think? Uh, you must decline. But why? You're plotting against him, and you would have me, the most powerful military on this planet, just doing the work for you. You would get the rewards, I would get to not be bored for a while. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Uh, Spain is trapped. <laughs> right there. Ugh, poor Spain. Let's go attack those workers. Huh, it's belonged to Spain at one point. Here, Spain, take these workers. I don't want them. Send them wherever you wish. So I need to choose production somewhere. Hmm. What do we have? Sydney Opera House. You work on that. I am going to send this carrier all the way over here. Let's see, you could use supermarket so you can actually grow. Yeah, supermarkets for everyone. Okay, so then we need to make a new proposal. Uh, it's not really going to help any. That's an okay one. Uh, world ideology. I could enforce my ideology to be the world ideology. And that would give me two more delegates, so I'd be in position to just take over the thing. Ooh, the International Space Station! Hmm. One time research boost. A free great scientist, and the International Space Station wonder appears in the capital. Plus one production from scientists and plus one science from engineers. Great scientists provide 33% more science when used to discover new technology. May only be built collaboratively through the World Congress. That is definitely something I would like to do. Hmm. Hmm. We just had the international games, but I must go with that. I like science. I would go with the world ideology stuff, but I I just don't need to. And I get to choose my free grade person. And of course, I'm going to be picking a scientist. Scientist has appeared. You shall now go sit on this road until next turn in which I will just rapidly get two different researches taken care of. Pretty much immediately. To Sonsengel, why are you doing nothing? I can't even look at if you have anything else to do. Uh, your population is just focused on gold. Have they built everything themselves? I doubt it. But then again, they're not on the coast, so they have a lot less stuff to build. And they're not near a mountain. Hmm, maybe they did. Maybe they did. No, oh, moving on. 